To heat mold the orthotic, we're going to heat mold one shoe at a time. We put the other shoe on so that we get a balance for when we've actually when we're fitting the orthotic. We also then remove whatever insole is within the footwear. We can take that out. We can actually use that as a template to measure the replacement orthotic. And in this case, it's the correct size. But if it were to be slightly long, we can trim using the trim lines in the forefoot of the full length orthotic. So we're going to take the orthotic and with a heat gun, we're going to be using a waving motion over the product through the thermal indicator until that disappears. And it's important to keep the heat gun moving and not concentrate the heat in any one spot. And as we heat the base of the orthotic, we see that the thermal indicator disappears from the point of control the STC section also disappears and that gives us the indication that we've reached a molding temperature. So we put the gun down safely, place the orthotic into the shoe, pushing down firmly with both thumbs into the back to make sure it sits square, place the foot into the shoe, this foot has no sock on it, there's no heat transfer from the base of the orthotic through to the dorsal surface, so it's quite safe to do so. Now we're going to place the patient's subtailored neutral position here. We're going to come around the leg, cup the heel to support the foot, and we're going to ask our patient to stand. Now this is a controlled position, so we make sure that the patient doesn't pronate into the orthotic. We maintain neutral. We now mould the orthotic to the foot position, down through the forefoot. That gets any rear foot to forefoot lie in the footwear, up into the arch area and cupped around the heel. Maintaining neutral, when we ask our patient to sit, we take the shoe off, take the orthotic out, let it cool, put this shoe on, and then we do the other foot.